Why? <laughs> Why do I have to sign in for this? Hey guys, welcome to another video. Josh here. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be doing something super cool, super quick. Last week I talked about, um, on in my previous video, I talked about erasing your digital footprints, how to take back control of your data from all these companies that make it their point of duty and purpose to just harvest as much as possible from you. Now, I got a follow-up question on that video last week about how to best navigate different blogs and websites and forums and newspapers, etc. All these websites that want you to make an account before you can enjoy their content. And the odd thing is you never use those accounts. So the moment you make that account, you never touch it again. All, you, all you're doing is giving them information about yourself so they can track your reading habits, they can track your online behavior and sell that data on or use it for purposes that you haven't explicitly consented to. Unbelievable stuff. But anyway, guys, today we're going to be looking at how you can best counteract that. Now, apologies if you already know this. I, I understand this might be very basic, but let's get right into it. So now I'm trying to, I was just minding my business, you know, trying to enjoy this article that I felt might be very useful for me but unfortunately i need to make a free account to enjoy it so instead of giving them my google account or my facebook account or any other account they're asking for my twitter account or my personal email i'm going to give them a false account that's right i'm going to use this website over here called tempmail.org so that's temp hyphen mail Org. I'll put the link in the description below. Now, why this website is super cool is it generates a temporary email address for you, which is valued for your session. So I think till you close your browser or clear cookies or after a given period of time, it automatically deletes uh, and forgets about you. But it, as long as you've got the window open, it keeps your email alive, right? So it, it, you get the email address up here and then you get your inbox down here. So you could uh, track all those emails that come in with your verification links. So essentially the plan is you make an account using this fake email address, you get your verification link that shows up in your inbox. You click the verification link and you know your, your account is sorted. It's fully done. It's fully created and you can delete this email address and the company has none of your data, right? None of your data. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> um, another cool thing about this um, particular tool is they've got this uh, service called the 10 minute mail. So essentially you can put your fake email address on a 10 minute timer. So if for whatever reason you need to self-destruct your email address after 10 minutes, hey, you can do that as well. Why you'd need that, I have no idea, but you know, different strokes for different folks, I guess. So <laughs> back to this article, Medium, on Medium, which I wanted to read. Um, now they want me to sign in with my account, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to give them my email address. So I'm going to click on sign in and create an account. Um, and I'm going to sign up with email because again, I do not want them having my data. So I'm going to copy my email over here and paste that in here and continue. Now they're going to make me do a capture for whatever reason. So I'll just do that real quick, you know, give them what they want. Uh, there's one more boss, I think, and another boss. I hate these things. They're silly. Great. So they've sent me a magic link to complete my setup and boom, look at it. It's right there. <laughs> so now I can go into my um, email and click on create your account. Almost there. So now I can give them a fake name. So I'm going to call myself Bond, James Bond, and I'll create my account. And thus Bond, James Bond was born and bam, I'm able to enjoy the full article without telling them who I am. So now Medium, they're probably rubbing their palms together thinking, Haha, yeah, we got this guy's data, but they haven't. They've gotten a guy named Bond, James Bond's data, who's got some weird username. <laughs> And hey, I'm enjoying myself. I can actually use this because I've got a standalone 
um, username now. So if I remember this, or if I wanted a different one, I could have changed that whilst making the accounts. Where essentially, this is a standalone, um, standalone username that can't be tied to my person, my personal data. They can't identify me using this data. Of course, they 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 will be able to tell what my IP address is unless I take specific measures to hide my IP address. But my IP address doesn't give them anything because unless I've got my own personal account which also has an IP address attached to it on their website. They have no idea who I am. For all intents and purposes, they think I, my name is Bond, James Bond. Say so, hey. Okay, guys, perfect. that's been it. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, please hit the like button. If you hated it, dislike button. And of course, if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Guys, I've got some incredible videos coming out this week. You don't want to miss them and I'll see you then. But till then, be fantastic. See you around. Cheers.